Most children have a long holiday wish list, and there's usually one favorite toy at the top. You like toys? Yes. What kind of toys do you want for the holiday? I want a, I want a, I want a red race car. A Barbie house. I need a turtle car. These toys sound harmless, but how do you know if they're safe? The New Jersey Public Interest Research Group, NJ Perg, displayed all kinds of toys found on the shelves of big and small retailers. Perg got them safety tested at a lab. The result? This year we found a vinyl toy to contain 2,900 parts per million lead. This toy violates the federal standard for total lead content by 29 times. And this toy is labeled for ages two and up. We also found toy rings with lead paint in, um, pardon, lead paint in them, ranging up to 200 parts per million, uh, which exceeds the 90 parts per million standard for lead. Perg claimed some other toys posed a possible threat to children's hearing because they're so loud. And despite a ban on small parts and toys for kids under the age of three, NJ Perg found some still on sale on store shelves. We see all kinds of choking hazards. We see kids with uh, either things in their nose, in their ears, and getting stuck in their throat. We see many of those types of injuries. And to see that the toys for girls especially are so small, now I'm really aware of the safety for my girls. Parents can also do their own test at home. It may not be high tech, but this toilet paper roll is a good way to do a small parts test. If it fits through here, it's probably too small for a young child. You may see a, this toy is for a three-year-old. And you think, well, my child is more intelligent than a three-year-old. Well, it's not about the intelligence of the child. It's about the small parts. NJ Perg says this annual report has led to over 150 recalls over the past 28 years. Toy safety requirements have been improved in recent years, but NJ Perg wants them enhanced. The New Jersey Division of Consumer Affairs says it's doing its part to target those who break the rules, but it believes the best defense is a well-informed parent. In Newark, I'm Desiree Taylor. NJTV News.